Good afternoon, everybody, or good morning, depending on what time of day you're watching this. Um, this is a video to explain what the green dot challenge within USA Test Prep is. Some of you um, may have been invited to small group and seen this already. Some of you may be seeing this for the first time. But we're going to talk about what the green dot challenge is as you will be doing this for work some different days throughout this semester. So first of all, what is the green dot challenge? The green dot challenge is a way for you, this is on you, to identify what skills you need to practice more on, okay? So this is gonna give you a way to identify which skills you may be struggling, which standards. Why are we taking the challenge? Well, first, because the challenge will help you be successful on the FSA in May. Everybody knows we have that in May, and so this is gonna help you find success on that. Second, it will improve your overall math score. Um, it's going to improve it in part because you're going to be doing more practice, but also I'm looking at some extra credit options. Don't quote me on anything just quite yet, but I am starting to look at some of those. And then third, there are going to be some prizes that will be coming later in the semester for those that master assigned skills. All right. So those are some of the reasons why you need to take this challenge. So how do we do the challenge, okay? Well, step one, you're gonna log into USA Test Prep. By now, hopefully you know how to log into USA Test Prep. If for some reason you don't remember your login information, please send me an email, okay? Just send me an email to Mrs. Germany and I will send you right back a link and all the information you need to get into USA Test Prep. So you're gonna log into USA Test Prep then you're going to make sure that Florida Middle School is selected. So that's this step right here, number two. Make sure that you have Florida Middle School selected. Step three, from up here at the top on the right, you're going to choose eighth grade. Make that drop-down list come down. And then step four, you're going to choose mathematics. All right, so log into USA Test Prep. Make sure you have Florida Middle School. Make them choose the eighth grade drop-down and select mathematics. When you do that, you're going to start seeing a list of all of the standards for eighth grade along with a dot rank over here on the far right hand side. That's the dot we're referring to here in the green dot challenge. And so that's the dot we want to see turn green. Now, if you have any dots that are already green, please celebrate those. Awesome job, you've already shown mastery of those particular standards at this time. If you have any yellow dots, be proud of yourself because those are the ones that you're not completely failing on by any means. You're just not quite to green yet, all right? So those are the ones that you're on your way. The pink dots are the ones that we're most concerned with. Those are the ones that you're not showing, um, at, those are where you struggle, okay? So those are where you're struggling. So this is what we're looking at is we're looking at these dots that are over here on the far right hand side of the screen. Now, the way you're gonna practice is you click right on a standard from here. And when you click that standard, notice there's that standard one, MAFS8.EE11, okay? What's gonna happen is this little window is gonna drop down. This is where you will have all kinds of practice. The first thing that you're going to have is you're going to have videos. I highly, highly recommend you watch the videos and answer the questions that are in them. Those questions that are within the video will actually move this bar up and start working on your dot turning green. All right, so watch those videos and answer those questions to help you begin. Vocabulary, I leave it up to you guys. Sometimes it's good, sometimes not so much, um, but I'm gonna let you guys deal with that. Now, the questions then, the questions are going to be the other part that as you get them right, we're gonna keep watching that dot is gonna go from pink to yellow to our green that we're looking for, all right? You can also do the performance task items. Those sometimes are a little bit harder. Um, so you might want to start with the questions, but I leave it up to you where, which of those two you want to do. The puzzles are, com <clears throat> are completely optional. Playing them will increase your score in here, but they don't always help change your dot to a green. But you want to do the videos, do the questions, do the performance tasks until a dot gets green. Now, how do you know which standards to practice? 
Well, what we covered in semester one was everything in expressions and equations with the exception of number two. And you're going to see your number two standard actually has a gray dot. That's because we have not gotten to that. That will actually be um, here in second semester. So one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all of those in expressions and equations are good, as well as all of the functions, the one through five within functions can be practiced. Also watch because you will receive instructions on specific standards that you will be practicing from time to time as well. But at any time, you are more than welcome to go in and work on the green dot challenge on your own. Good luck.